Recently, Down to Earth Astronomy or D2EA published a video saying that Elite Dangerous is definitely a dying game. And it kinda bothers me. In the last year, various, if not the most, elite YouTubers distanced themselves from Elite. They play Star Citizen or other space or even non space related games. But why? It's not because Elite is such a shitty game, but rather more because they fear lesser income from their videos. With less people interested or even playing the game, lesser people are watching their videos as well. And with more people who are saying that the game is dead, they're obligated to say the same thing. Why? Because fan base matters. To them at least. And if more people are saying the same thing, you as a content creator who earns money from the YouTube thing have to say the same. And I kinda understand that. But, but, having an opinion doesn't mean that this opinion is actually right. And saying this game is definitely dead doesn't help in any way. The more content creators spreads this message, this message will become reality more and more. In a world where opinions of content creators actually have an impact to people who are playing video games, this is careless. And content creators shouldn't care less about their actions. Like I said in a previous video, Elite isn't dead. It's severely injured, yes, but not dead. We have a game with better graphics now and a feature which is kinda broken but nobody is forced to use it. Nobody is obligated to do any on-foot grind or any on-foot gameplay whatsoever. We all could simply enjoy our game as we did before, but with better graphics. And besides from the on-foot disaster and the planet thing, what have changed? And it is still the same game and every player can play the game in the same way they played it before. Therefore, I really don't understand this dystopian propaganda. For me, not a content creator who doesn't need or want any YouTube money, the game is still very much alive. Anyway, catch you later. Catch you later.